production of animal protein using livestock is resource heavy and puts an incredible strain on our natural systems. It also has a bigger impact on global warming than driving cars. As our population and our global appetite for meat increase, we need to find other ways of satisfying this demand. I'm here at Wageningen University Holland to check out the environmental benefits of eating bugs. Uh, Professor Van, Van Huys. Yes, right. Great. Oh my goodness. Why are you researching insects as food? Well, we will have a meat crisis very soon. 70% of all the agricultural land at the moment is used uh, for livestock. The world population is doubling and the meat uh, demand is also doubling. So we need another earth to feed the world. So it's just impossible. Also, if you look at it environmentally, 18% of all the greenhouse gas emissions are from livestock. So we need alternatives for our protein. And insects are an excellent alternative. What do you call this? Oh, this is slippy. a locust uh, species. This is a locust. Just be careful because they bite. So you They have bite. To... to be honest, it's a stretch for me to think of this guy as food, but that must be the battle that you're facing, trying to convince Westerners that there's a good meal to be had out of these guys. Yeah, but it's only the Western people have problems with it. So yeah. most yeah. of the world population doesn't have any problem. And I would also say, if you taste it once, then the next time it's not a problem anymore, so. So there you have it. Insects such as locusts, grasshoppers, and mealworms are nutritious and have much less impact on the environment than livestock. But finding the right insect is just part of the story. If we're gonna make any impact at all on the global demand for protein, we need to make sure we've got a reliable and sustainable supply. So we've come to the Kareka insect rearing facility. Uh, this is Marika. Hi. Uh, tell, us what, tell us what you do here. Well, we have uh, a lot of insects here. We breed 10 species. Wow. Um, most of the insects are for the animal consumption, but we have one insect also for the human consumption. OK, can you uh, show us yes, how you course. do it, where you do it? Come on in. OK. Wow. Those yeah. worms are big enough for selling. Coming week, they uh, can shift it and then we sell yeah, them. You can put more worms in one place than you can put cows. I think there's between 700 and 1,000 kilos only in this room. Of insects? Of insects, yes. Insects are great at turning plants into protein. It takes 10 kilograms of plant matter to make just one kilogram of beef, but that same 10 kilograms will produce nine kilograms of insect protein. This is because they're cold-blooded and don't need to waste any energy in controlling their body temperature. Okay, so we've done our feeding of the mealworms. Um, the next stage of the process is now to take the uh, mature worms out. Oh my God! Wow! Wow, look at that, there's a lot of worms. So this is like pure adult mealworm, which is ready to go up to market and uh, to the kitchens, basically. The rest is all gonna go back into the incubator and, and uh, start the cycle again. But um, that's our work here done for just now, so that's it. Okay, so we found out the insects are nutritious, you can farm them on a commercial scale, and they're better for the environment. But all this means nothing unless people are actually prepared to eat them. It just needs a bit warm. Johan Verbon is the chef at the restaurant of the future. He's been cooking with insects for over three years. For your average person, having a look at that to begin with would look pretty... Yeah. If people ask me often this question, I always say to them, do you eat shrimps? Yeah. And okay. I say, they say often yes, then I like them. And I say, those are the insects of the sea. I think I recognise this guy from the lab this morning. Um, I could be wrong, but... Uh... You feel and hear how crunchy they are? Yeah, really. If you just add a little bit of salt on the head, Okay. There's a nice snack. Yeah? 
No. The heads would just go right in there for the head. Okay, moment of truth. If I kind of, <laughs> kind of step out myself and just mm -hmm. don't even think about it, then that is really nice. That's crunchy, yeah. salty. There's an, yeah, the nutty, nutty, nutty flavour in there. Yeah. The majority of this burger is still beef, but um, even just by using, what do you say, 20%? 20%. Even yeah. by using 20% grasshopper in this, that's 20% less beef, so less damage to the environment, less water that you're using. Yum. You're eating the entire... The entire insect. The entire yeah. insect, Beef, no waste. You eat about 55% uh, of a cow, and yeah. this is the whole insect, 100%. Wow. You're <laughs> cooking <laughs> with worms. Yeah, you're cooking I with mean, worms. how are you going to actually get people to, to eat, eat worms, basically? Yeah. Make it nice. Okay. Make it look nice, make it taste nice. And when food looks good and you're hungry, you will eat it. OK, Professor. Grasshopper burger. Are you so? That's great. Well, I hope you enjoy them. They prepared with a lot of love from Johan, and I think it's a fantastic idea. Mm. So, um, thanks to your research, hopefully uh, we'll see a lot more restaurants serving grasshopper burgers in the future. Bon appetit. Okay.